is creating a glowing line within Photoshop and it's a fairly simple technique really it is but um let's just get down to it it's a fairly quick tutorial so let's do this you create a new layer call it line go over to your brush select your brush right click and make sure it's soft it's one of these soft brushes make the diameter three or four pixels I'll make it four select your pen tool and make sure that your foreground color is set to white. Now, to create the glowing line, it's as simple as clicking and dragging with your pen tool. Do whatever you like. If you'd like to manipulate a point with the pen tool, just hold down control. Take your time. And then you right click, go to stroke path, Make sure brush is selected and simulate pressure and hit OK. And to get rid of the line, because uh, you can't really see the line that we made yet, that fill, because the path is in the way. So go over to your paths tab, click here, and the path will disappear. And there is a line. Now what we're going to do is add a glow to the line. So with that line layer selected, hit the effects button down here, drop down to outer glow. And that's what we're going to be doing to uh, the pixels within that layer. We're going to be adding an outer glow to them. Blend mode, set it to normal. Color, self-explanatory, set it to white. Maybe increase the opacity if you'd like, up to about 85%, a little bit stronger. And basically when you're going to be making these glow effects, you're only going to be messing with the size of the glow, such as, or you're going to be messing with the range I may increase the range to about 70. It's completely your preference. In fact, I recommend pausing the video and taking your time figuring out what works for you. But that's really it. I have my size set to 10, my range set to 70. <clears throat> Hit OK. And that is basically it. Now you have a glowing line within Photoshop. And you can repeat this process as many times as you like. It is pretty straightforward. Um, hmm. What's one more thing that I can show you? If you go back to your Paths tab, and you click on your path to select your path again, and then you select your Pen tool, and on your keyboard you hold Control, Alt, and Shift, you can drag that down. And then you can duplicate it again by holding Control, Alt, Shift, and bringing that one down. And you can see what we're doing. Now you can go back and do the same thing, right click, stroke path or stroke subpath it's going to be the same settings hit OK and then you can do this for the middle line here stroke subpath hit OK and now you have some different uh, strength glowing lines and you can actually duplicate this layer if you'd like bring it up with the brush tool hold down control and shift and that is actually pretty neat. So now what you can do is you can merge these two layers. This is all additional stuff. Just trying to show you what kind of different effects you can achieve with this. Uh, you can duplicate this layer if you'd like. Hold down Control and T and rotate it. Like such. Hit Apply. And you can set the mode to Overlay. And there you go. I mean, it's just some different effects, guys. So, uh... Before this tutorial is completely over, if you enjoyed this, and if you would like many more uh, in-depth tutorials, that was a fairly simple tutorial, just hop on over to my channel. And I have a bunch of, you know, beginner, intermediate, and advanced Photoshop tutorials. And this is only the beginning. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a lot more tutorials in the future. For those of you who are interested, I'm going to be doing covering everything in regards to web design music production within FL Studio 8, HTML, CSS, jQuery, Ajax, PHP, you name it.
maybe even a maybe even a C++ course for those of you who are interested in that kind of stuff. But um guys, my name is Graham with Tutorial Clarity. Take care. Space, please.